in front of me a Walker WPS818C uh, combo um, Servio receiver um, available with free delivery directly from freetv.ie. So um, this is the first combo box that's been marketed, uh, launched onto the Irish market actually since 2011 or 12. So it's a long time in uh, waiting for a new product to come back out. So it's a pretty small niche market here. Um, it has some additional features above the standard generic uh, combo boxes. The key one being um, that it um, has a digital teletext on it so it can support that and bring it up. And that can be quite a, a good feature because it's not supported by any of the other boxes in the market that I'm uh, aware of now. Uh, but that's really the key selling point on it. Um, what I'm going to do here is I'll just give an overview of exactly what you get when you buy the kit. And we have a box preset up here and we just go through the main features on it. As I always would say with our videos, we try to set them up just on, on the Oroctus channel here, simply because there's no copyright thing and there's no dangers of our videos being taken down uh, if you accidentally show somebody famous, which can happen from time to time. So this is the outer box that we have here, okay? So the packaging is reasonably uh, decent out. Little pack inside and it has both the remote control, the power unit, the batteries, etc. So it's a nice pack. And then a user manual that's in English. And uh, we have a nice remote control with it. Now this is nice in terms of angle range, all the rest of it. So chunky and good. And what we have then is the main show. We have the set-top box itself. So if we just looked and came across, we can see it displayed here, which is at the brand name here with a USB uh, connection on it. Uh, we have a um, digital display, which we can see working here. And then we basically have an up-down button and a channel on-off button. Okay, so that's what we're seeing in the front. Uh, there's nothing else on the sides. And if we turn around and look at the back, we have our power input here for our external power unit. We have a network connection here. We have a HDMI connection. 99% of the time is use this for connecting the box to the TV. If you had an older TV, there is actually an old analog output here, a 3.5 millimeter jack here. It doesn't give you the lead here, but what you need to buy with it is a lead with a SCART lead or an RCA lead, plug it into an older TV. But that's pretty well obsolete now, so. That's it. And then basically, what well, we have a loop out here, but what we have is a satellite input here and a terrestrial input as well. So basically, the satellite input coming from something like a Sky satellite dish uh, will give you the satellite channels, the BBC's, ITV's, Channel 4, and the UHF aerial feeding into terrestrial one will pick up the serial channels, RT1 and 2, Virgin Media, um, those type of channels. So on the satellite side, you probably have about 100 channels, but maybe 20 being good to fairly good. And on the satellite side, you probably, or on the threshold side, all the Irish channels basically are reasonably good. Um, so let's just look at the main show then. We have the box preset up here. I have a satellite and terrestrial feed gone directly in. So if I come along here, um, I just, I pre programmed this box to make the video as quick and nifty as possible. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to give an overview now of what I would do if I was going to tune in uh, both the terrestrial and the satellite channels onto it. So hit the menu thing here, I come down to installation. Most people will come along and do an automatic channel scan and they'll be asked you want to do a scan on the terrestrial or the satellite channels. And you want to do a scan on the terrestrial channels first. Now the key importance of that is normally it wouldn't make a difference but there's, the software on this is a little bit glitchy. If we came along initially and we said, look, we're just going to put the satellite channels up there first and that'll be fine, sell the box pre-programmed, add on the Irish channels. The drawback is, is that if you put on the terrestrial channels afterwards, you can put them ahead of the satellite channels, which is strange indeed. So we're basically selling it as a non-programmed box. Scan the terrestrial channels first, scan the satellite channels afterwards, and you can have them in a reasonably logical order. So uh, what is the order uh, that you can have them in? Well, I'll just exit out of here. So I'll just go menu back out. And if you come along and just press the OK button, I'll just come along and see that on the top of the list, we BBC RT1, 2, uh, all the way numerical up as far as 7 and then on channel uh, 11 RT plus 1, RT news channel, the Oroctus channel, uh, Serview information. Then it jumps all the way up to 251, we're into the radio stations and then when the radio stations finish out at 301 the satellite channels start. So I can change the order of and put channel 4 or BBC 3 at 301 if I wanted it but it can only start at 301, that's where the satellite things are on. So it's a little bit restricted from that. But it's, it's better, we'll say, than a previous version of this Walker Box, which came out years ago, where you actually had to uh, choose on, a, on the thing there between satellite and terrestrial and flick between it that way, but I didn't put it that way, where this effectively is in the one channel list. I could be on channel one and type in channel 301 and go directly to it, okay? I might actually show you as a matter of interest, if we did go in here and we did want to change the order of channels, if I come along here and come down, 
I could come along, press the OK button, and now I have a an option to watch, move, delete, rename, or lock particular channels. So it's quite handy that we can do that. If we come along then, and uh, in terms of the EPG, we'll say we could do an EPG here by simply using the EPG button that's on uh, the menu itself. And what I'll do is it'll just bring up the EPG seven day guide in terms of, set of the terrestrial channels. But on the BBCs and things like that, what I'll do is they'll come up now and next. So that's pretty well the same as it would be on a generic box, but from that perspective, I think. But I suppose the big advantage would be if we go to RT1 here and we press, we'll say, the text button here, what will happen here, it'll actually bring up the digital text as well. Uh, I'm just, um, I, I'll quickly flick over, we'll say, to one here and just see if we can go in there. And I'll very, very quickly come along. And I'm just going to press the, um, uh, the info button here. So I'll just exit out here, back out, and I'll just go there. I have the information button there, and what I need to now is just say text. And what I'll do is load up the text button there directly, and now we'll export all the rest of it like that. And we have a similar type of functionality when it comes to the BBCs. So I'm just going to quickly uh, exit out of there. And um, I just do that by hitting the text button again to kill it off. And now what I'll do is I'll go to channel 12 or something like that. And... Um, uh, uh, yeah, the news channels there, or the Iraqis channels. We'll say we can just go up to the Iraqis channel again. So, overall, we'll say, my review of the box, generally itself, I think it's good. It works well. The picture quality is great. You have the option of uh, media player things. You can add on hard drives. Uh, you can do uh, various things like that to use the media player functionality within it. Is it better than the generic boxes out there? I suppose it's, it's generally better in terms of we have the digital teletext. So that's an important thing to get. It is a nice feature to have in the box. Probably with the advent of the internet and everybody having on the phone, less and less important. But some people out there do want those functionalities and it is Serview approved. So it's good there in terms of there's certain quality control in terms of uh, what's there. And there is always a possibility for our features to be rolled out onto boxes and pushed via software updates uh, between a combination of Walker and Serview working together. So overall I think it's a reasonably decent box.